I teased this film in the intro for my first Almost Cult Classics video, and I'm amazed at just how many people commented saying they were looking forward to hearing me talk about this one. It's a film that perfectly defines the fish-out-of-water premise. It's a ridiculous comedy made memorable thanks to the cast, especially its lead. It's a movie called King Ralph, one of what I call almost cult classics. If you haven't seen King Ralph, here's all you need to know. John Goodman becomes the King of England. I could just leave it at that and end the video there. If that pitch alone doesn't make you have any interest in watching this film, then I don't know what will. On its surface, it's a pretty formulaic 90s comedy, but it's notable for being the first starring theatrical role for John Goodman. It was originally intended as a vehicle for Bill Murray, but he declined the role. Some of the scenes are definitely Bill Murray-esque, but John Goodman makes them his own. The film is about Ralph Jones, a Vegas lounge singer who becomes the King of England when, and get ready for this, the entire royal family is electrocuted while taking a family photo. Three. Ralph is the product of an extramarital affair involving a member of the royal family, and therefore is the only descendant able to take the throne. Allow me to introduce our sovereign lord, Ralph Jones, King of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, and all her other realms and territories, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith. Ralph is coached in royalty lessons by his advisor, Sir Cedric, played by Peter O'Toole. Cedric is aided by Duncan, played by Richard Griffiths. These two guys are so great in this film. They completely sell the ridiculous concept with their earnestness. To complicate matters, Ralph also falls for a dancer named Miranda, but she is bribed to set up Ralph by Lord Graves, the story's villain played by John Hurt, who wants to take the throne for himself. You can probably see where this plot is going. Miranda actually ends up developing feelings for Ralph. It's a little formulaic for sure, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't find this film charming still. Milk? Sugar? One lump or two. Ah. <sighs> two for me. Ralph actually ends up injecting a lot of fun into the formal duties surrounding the monarchy. It's also worth watching this movie just for John Goodman's singing scenes alone. You can tell from watching this movie that John Goodman is just having fun and was excited to be starring in his first lead role. I'm so glad he continued to find success in films. Although this film didn't fare too well critically, it was a modest box office hit and would help establish John Goodman as a film star. While I'm happy he appeared in this film, I'm also thrilled that he wasn't relegated to being typecast in family comedies forever. He continues to be one of my favorite actors today for all of his varied performances that he always commits 100% to. Him and most of the cast here commit fully to this silly comedy and really make it worth rewatching all these years later. It's one of those films you can pretty much always find in the $5 DVD bin, and I recommend picking it up if you come across it. Happy. Oh, how they make me 
goodbye. 